So in this demo, I will showcase monitoring an e-commerce application called MuShop. It's a cloud-native e-commerce application that is deployed on Oracle OCI Kubernetes stack. The demo will demonstrate full stack monitoring capabilities across logs, metrics, and trace data. All collections are using CNCF-based, uh, cloud-native computing foundation-based standard methods. So Oracle Observability and Monitoring Platform offers creating user-defined customizable cross-service dashboard. So here we have the MuShop application dashboard. This dashboard is organized across four sections, the business uh, section, application, infrastructure, and database. So OCI Observability and Management Services use native and open standards capabilities to instrument and collect information from, mon from the monitored application. Business data like order count, as you can see here, and process revenue is collected from each transaction and is available as aggregated value over time. APM uh, monitors, this is our application performance monitoring service. It monitors the performance and availability of the application through synthetic monitoring and distributed tracing. Global and private vantage points are used to monitor the UI and service um, using REST APIs. So here you can see any alarms on the application, the app deck score, as well as the transactions happening on the system. Let's drill down into the transactions for more details. Uh, so the first thing I want to mention is that we have a strong query language that enables performance-oriented data mining. So if you wanted to really have access to the data directly, we have a fairly uh, powerful query language for you to do that. Uh, analyzing current and historical uh, data, the ops team can quickly identify problematic execution paths, load and performance trends. So here you can see that this particular trace is taking the longest time uh, as we can drill down into it. And first of all, you can see the topology and details of the individual transactions or uh, traces, uh, and they can be examined to quickly find root cause of an error or slowness. Each transaction step or span is visible in the context of the transaction. Here you can see the bottom, clearly showing its impact on the entire transaction. So let's drill down for more attributes. So out of the box, custom uh, um, and enriched attributes are available. With each span, as we shown here, these attributes are the ones used in the query language to search and aggregate uh, traces and spans. And if you can go down to the bottom, they can also be used to drill down in context to things like database performance, sublogging, analytics services, et cetera, as well. So here you can see the OCI, Kubernetes, and application server attributes are automatically collected. Uh, other attributes, if you wanted to, can be added through simple configuration on the agent and in the ingest pipeline. So let me close this now and go back to the dashboard. Um, so MuShop uses a complex set of Oracle cloud services spanning infrastructure, Kubernetes platform, database, and custom applications. Let me walk you through how a DevOps team can gain end-to-end -end visibility into these tiers and stay aligned with the business KPIs. So let's drill down into the infrastructure layer and see what's happening to my application infrastructure. Um, so here you can see we have you know, six nodes uh, running uh, on this application, 175 pods. The most important tier uh, which embodies the business logic is the services in the application tier. This is the current Kubernetes service topology, which is automatically discovered and dynamically updated along with the key platform KPIs. Long-term historical data uh, is a key to performance optimization. Uh, this is available at your fingertips here, such as platform events, as well as the events distribution. Uh, finally, uh, machine learning techniques are used to analyze the historical data to correlate events across tiers. So here it looks like that the server restart has been causing a bunch of failed orders on the system. So we could drill down more if you want to analyze the data to find root cause. Uh, so here we log, go into the data explorer. The, this advanced analytics experience uh, empowers your teams to leverage technical expertise and easily navigate and, and analyze to identify root causes uh, interactively and efficiently. So here it's quite apparent that the server out of memory, server restart and failed orders are correlated. So instead of having dozens of people in a knock call, I can raise the tickets on OCI infrastructure and networking team and improving the productivity of my operations teams. Uh, the last thing I wanted to 
talk about is the database uh, tier of the application. So here for database, we support in-depth performance monitoring and administration, including real-time and historical anal analysis. Quickly scanning through the dashboard, we can see the load running on the system, transactions per minute, as well as ability to via forecasting capacity as well. Let's drill down into the load on the system to see what's going on. So here, when you drill down, we take you to the Performance Hub feature. Performance Hub allows you to view uh, all the performance data, including average active sessions, which is a representation of the load on the database for various dimensions. So here you can see, uh, you can analyze the this database time being consumed by this particular database across you know, S uh, SQL, PL SQL, different resource consumption. And for each of these dimensions, you can pick your fa favorite uh, dimension like weight class, weight event, service module, and so on. In this particular case, we have, uh, um, you know, we have drilled down into the finance module and we're looking at the different actions that are happening within the finance module. And here you can see that the particular action, which is pay, to global account is the one that is consuming the most resources. And then at the bottom left, you can see the SQLs that are uh, responsible for this consumption of database time, as well as the sessions that are contributing to this particular uh, module. Uh, the other thing that we can also do besides doing in-depth performance diagnostics is we also have capacity forecasting capability. So here you could drill down into capacity forecast so we can show you for the database that's running this MuShop application, which is called MuShop App OA DB, the total average load on the system, CPUs allocated, utilization, et cetera. And here we, can, we are doing a forecasting of the CPU consumed on the system. And here you can see that we are using the machine. We offer two modes, uh, a linear algorithm and a machine learning algorithm. And when you enable machine learning, you can see clearly that in a few days, you're going to be hitting your capacity limit. So this is where you can um, take some proactive action to avoid these uh, capacity issues. And not only using our database management capabilities can you address problems that are happening right now, but also avoid future problems as well. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the breadth of capabilities we have uh, across our observability and management platform to do full stack monitoring and management of any application.